so like gloves back here with another video um it's been a while uh school has started for me and it's been really busy and um <clears throat> i'm playing football which uh really takes away from the time i have to make videos so yeah this video is going to be a review and uh look at my mizuno pro limited GMP 600 11 and a half inch crossweb and I'm also going to run through the gloves I have for sale so here is this glove it is made out of the northern European northern European kip leather um, it's very stiff um, the leather is really smooth um, it's definitely slightly softer uh, to the touch than say a pro preferred it feels less slick there's a little more tacky um, like it like to the touch the lacing is pretty good I wouldn't say it's Rawlings lace but it's way better than Wilson it's a little soft but it is definitely um, pretty close to Tanner's quality which is uh, what I would consider the best type of lace so yeah it has well it's in like a I don't, I honestly, I'm not sure, quite sure what to call it, um, but it's like a, uh, almost like a dark tan kind of a colorway. Uh, it's got gold stitching throughout, which, uh, I really think pops. It has, the embroidery is just flawless throughout the glove, and it has Mizuno on the ring finger, and it has Mizuno also... There's no way you can see that. Let me get my phone. Uh, inside there. Uh, Mizuno Pro inside there. Uh, which is also stitched in. And you can't really feel it in there. So don't really worry about that. But yeah, like I said. Um, very stiff. Um, it's basically new without tax. I bought it from Glove Love. GLUV LUV where I buy a bunch of my gloves from him. He's on Instagram. And yeah, this is just another one of the super nice gloves I bought from him. Um, so in the palm it reads Mizuno Pro Major Quality Limited Edition Mizuno. That's in the palm which you cannot see at this time. Thanks to my terrible camera angle. On the pinky it says Mizuno Pro as well. Right there. And on the inside of the pinky, let me get my light out, it says Northern European Kit, uh, Speed Drive Technology, and on the thumb it says GMP 611 and a half inches. Um, so this glove is really the top of the line. Uh, personally, I would probably honestly prefer this over a Pro Preferred if they would sell um, models which I would use. Um, they don't I don't I don't really think they sell a twelve inch twelve twelve inch twelve inch H web pattern. Um, otherwise I would probably pick one up. Um, out of the ones they had, this is the one I prefer the most, the single post eleven and a half. Uh, just because an eleven point five one, uh, I really don't like the triple X one, honestly. Um, I'm just not a fan of that. Hmm. I just think it looks kinda weird, honestly. But um yeah, this is a great glove. I'm about to sneeze. Okay, sorry. Um, and I would definitely pick one up if you can. They're on eBay at way better prices than, say, retail. Um, the suggested retail is 500 And in stores, that's how much they cost you. But on eBay, you're, you're looking 350 to 400 most of the time. Um... I'm awesome, so I'd sell mine for three fifteen. Just saying, uh, but yeah, great glove, basically without tags, super stiff. Um, this is way stiffer than a black one that I had, which was an eleven and a half uh, iWeb actually, uh, which I owned, and that one was not stiff at all. It was, it got floppy way too fast, and I didn't use it for that long. I ended up selling it. Um, so yeah, there's that, and I'm gonna run through the gloves I have for sale. Because I need to sell these gloves, um, nothing wrong with them, uh, I just don't need them in my collection and I'm looking to move on. So, first one is a Rawlings Pro Preferred, uh, blacked out, the logos are there, 
they're just uh, covered in black Sharpie, I believe. And the Sharpie is really black, so it really does kind of blend in. It's hard to tell. But this would be a sweet pitching gamer, I think. I've even considered using it on the bump. Um, it's 11.75, two-piece web, blacked out all over. The Rawlings, the Gold Club Co., the labels. Um, so yeah, it's got a little bit of wearing in the pocket uh, on the web and in the palm area. Not too bad, though. It's got cracking, like one or two little cracks on the binding. And then the finger stall uh, by the ring finger is cracked. Not the finger stall, the actual like divider that goes in there. And you can't feel it at all. The petards is flawless. Um, but yeah, it's a great glove. Um, I think people are really worried too much about cracking nowadays. But it's two in the pink. It's super stiff. It was fully released in tanners. Stays wide open. Um, so yeah, this is a great glove. I would use it. I just don't really have a need. And it doesn't sell. I might even end up using it. I don't know yet, honestly. I'd like to get 185. Uh, that's, that's just what I start with. <clears throat> I'm obviously negotiable. And I'm desperate. <laughs> Not really. Um, so yeah, this is my Louisville Slugger Pro Flare. Code 55, uh, Don Morton Horween glove. Fully released and tan tanners. And very nice glove. This is just awesome. Um, still very stiff. Uh, even with the fingers all done out like that. I just put some space in between them. This is just a sweet glove. I bought it and sent it out to Glove Love, GLUV, LUV, to get it released. And he did a sweet job. Then I brought it home and uh, did the hot water method to it to form it just flawlessly, at least for me, with that perfect shape. Thumb's a little bit uh, bent out, but that's whatever. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of wearing on this one. Tanner's is obviously brand new, and that adds a good component of stiffness to it. Um, these gloves are really hard to find, especially in the 12-inch pattern. I've seen a lot of 11.75s and a lot of mod traps in this uh, leather type, but not many 12 inches. inches. So I would like <clears throat> 195 or best offer. Sorry, yeah, 195. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a great glove. Honestly, um, I'm not sure I want to sell it, but I just feel like I need to move on from it. Because I already have one which, I'm one which I'm using, which is actually up in the screen right there. Um, so yeah, this is also for sale. And I've got three more. The next one is this custom 1786 orange tan uh, with black accents. It's got a navy blue NM, which means no mercy on the thumb. And everything else is black, traditional MLB logo. This glove is... Not crazy stiff. Um, it feels like it's been used once or twice, probably. But it's really nice. This leather is definitely better than stock A2000, for sure. It has the long laces. Um, no real wearing it in the pocket. Just maybe a tiny little bit on the fingertips. It's I mean, you can barely notice if you look pretty hard. Liner, everything is, is fine, as it should be. Um, so, yeah, I would like... 225 is what I have this glove at. I could go down maybe a little bit, but um, this is just a sweet glove. And yeah, I don't I don't really want to just give this one away because I need to put my foot down and make some decent money, or at least make my money back, which is what I'd be getting on a glove. I can't keep losing money. Um, so yeah, here's that. Okay, last two. You're probably getting bored of this for sale video. But I have this uh, Casper 217 A2K LE OBP4. Uh, this glove is in pretty decent condition. Uh, it has no cracking. Um, however, it does have some pretty decent wear on the fingers. And it's a lot darker than it came. Um, this lighting is terrible to show it off. Um, but throughout the pocket, it's a lot darker. It's definitely not close to the Casper color. Um, but honestly, this would be the perfect Casper to game. Or if you wanted, you could restore it. Um, the leather on the Caspers is honestly incredible. Which, I mean, if I ever bought a Casper, I, I know for sure I would game it. But, like if I would have bought one new. Um, I honestly just don't need 11 and a half glove for third. And I 
don't want to eat this much money, I guess, just because I put a lot into it, um, and I don't want to destroy it any further, so it's for sale, I would like 425 I know that's a lot, um, I can definitely go down on that price a little bit, um, but like I said, I need to make some money, um, just in general, for gas, I'm gonna put money toward a new car as well. Um, so yeah, here it is. It's got some decent running on his fingertips. Nothing crazy major. Um, it doesn't look that bad. Honestly, this gray color with the red makes it, the writing look a lot uh, better than it <clears throat> is. But yeah, you can still read the A2K. Yeah, you can't see crap in this lighting. You can still read all the all of the uh, serial numbers and whatever on here. The limited edition 207 out of 500 is perfectly visible on the pinky and yeah this is a great glove like I said uh, no cracking well man I wouldn't call that cracking because it's a little rough down here I wouldn't call that cracking probably just like I felt like someone scraped it on the bottom maybe a little bit but yeah uh, just an incredible glove so yeah okay last one and probably the worst one uh, the most beat up one all-star CM 3000 SPT 33 and a half and Schmidt. Um, this glove is fully broken in and feels incredible on the hand. Just it's it feels awesome. It's a great glove. Um, it's got some major cracking on the binding. The liner is in pretty decent shape. Uh, I oiled it, but it was starting to feel a little dry. But it should be fine now after all the oil I put on it. Um, it's got some wearing on the web, right around there. Um, but this glove is if you're looking for a a perfect gamer to use catcher catching and you need one this is it right here man it's sweet um actually in the uh ring finger stall there was a little bit of cracking i don't know how some person just didn't oil their glove like a tiny little bit and it just bugged the shit out of me i don't know why um so i took some electrical tape and i slid it uh down there and i put it right there so when you put the glove on it feels super smooth where the electrical tape is and um should it be a problem at all it's just bugged the heck out of me. I'm not sure if it was, it might not have even been cracking. It was just kind of like just wrinkling back there. But um, yeah, I don't really catch too much. I'm mainly first, third, and pitcher. Uh, if I catch, I don't really use my own glove. Uh, so yeah, great glove. Kind of stands up. I'd like 125 OBO just because it's a great glove to use. And again, I need more money. need to get at least my money back. Um, so yeah, I made a lot of dumb glove buying decisions, which are coming back to haunt me uh, um, so yeah here it is great glove and uh, that's pretty much the video I'll give you one last look at this glove which is the one that's not one of these uh, five I guess ugly ducklings of my collection that I just need to move um, so yeah I'm also I also wanted to tell you guys how I'm partnered up with premium collectors um, they have one of the larger accounts and Ross who is not uh, John but uh, John's partner, um, I guess, recruited me to step up because John is going to be leaving, or at least taking a break, because uh, he's going because he's in college and he's really busy. Um, so I am now co-partner, uh, I guess, um, of that account. So I'll be posting on there as well as on Select Gloves. So if you want to contact me, go to either of those two places and DM me or just comment. I'll probably read those because I'm a nice guy and I read all those. So yeah, check you guys later. Um, hope, hopefully I can make some more bids coming videos coming up soon. Um, and yeah, peace out.